go to Mum's, kill Phil, sorry, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Hello. I've been trying to record a game showcasing the zombie strat for Berlin Command, and last game I recorded it, and um, turns out I was against a guy who'd played like four games, and I was like, see, look how effective it is, and oh man, wasn't very cool of me. Um, Sorry, the P4 PC is actually better than the Rover PC because it's French. <laughs> I'm not making this up. You see how this is 99 kilometers an hour off-road speed and this is 95. To be honest, the Rover is still way better than something like uh, the WL50A, which is why I don't complain about this because you know what will happen. They'll just nerf the Rover. <laughs> so anyway, it's the Zombie Horde meta. If you haven't seen my two and a half hour patch analysis video, I suggest that you at least check out the first 15 minutes so you can understand what the hell I'm on about. But basically, cheap infantry, uh, cheap useless infantry like uh, these Germans. Um, uh, these guys are British though. So, uh, <laughs> uh, th that's, that's the name of the game, these cheap infantry. So we get some... Uh, and y it needs to be backed up by fire support and good AA. So Berlin suffers on the good AA front, you get the man pads, but you don't get too much good AA. So what are we going to do? I think we should hold Charlie and just drive into Alpha because he's 17 arm wide, so he doesn't get a lot of infantry anymore. And we get a lot of infantry, so yeah, that's that's going to be the plan. We're going to hold in Alpha. So this will be the Alpha holding force consisting of some uh, zombies and some... An engineer's Dragon are an extremely effective zombie unit, Bring us there, by the way, because they're 10 strength and they get a Dragon for holding off people. Just put a zombie there, put a zombie there, and we should probably get an AA for that. So one Javelin Lamau is probably enough to not kill anything that comes there, but at least scare it off. So we'll put that there. And yeah, I'm hoping he doesn't run into Delta, but he shouldn't do. Given his division, that wouldn't work out so well for him in the long run, but he might do it anyway. It's good that the game gives you options. So then these are our zombies for the... Uh, so I'm just going to put them slightly further back just so I can tell when I'm doing the orders. I know obviously that's suboptimal. But I'm sure you'll get over it. <laughs> so this is going to be the zombie attack force for, for this town, and we're literally just going to walk in. We're literally just going to walk in. And could use... So the thing is that the Howitzer, despite being more expensive because of the range we'll actually be able to get the smokes out on time whereas the mortar won't because it's tracked right so it'll get to like here and then it'll start shooting them so we're gonna buy the hobbit sir War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. and yeah we could use a couple foxes actually just to scout so get one over here if it gets there you might but he'll, he'll put a, probably put a Res Vedka there or something. Get one up to here so that he can just see the entry point and then if he survives he can go around to here and cut off the reinforcements. So there's my zombies are ready but we don't have enough AA really for this zombie horde so that's not good actually. It's not good at all so I can... I'd have to get rid of this and that to afford another minstrel. So the thing, so if you mix Minstrels and Javelin Lamaus, Javelin Lamaus deal 4 damage. So you need 3 hits to kill a 10 HP plane, whereas the Minstrels you only need 2 hits to kill 10 HP plane. But if you if you get 1 Minstrel and 1 Javelin Lamau and they both hit, that only adds up to 9. So you might as well get 2 Minstrels. I hope that makes sense. So he's not waiting for me, and that's fair enough. Cons oh, no, he is waiting for me. Um, but either way, that's fair enough, considering what's about to happen. <laughs> Oh, no, he's not waiting for me. But anyway, I'm sure you, sure you get the point. Um, and... Yeah, you'll notice that I'm not really running satchels. Satchels have been nerfed a lot, so I don't really see the point. And, uh, yeah, good luck. Have fun. Sometimes I like to leave a cheeky thanks for waiting, but I think that's... Uh, not really on. To be honest, buying the two CVs at the start probably not a good idea. I should have got more zombies just to really hammer the point home here. Keep in mind that oh, I've just realised I've 
crucial flaw in my strategy, actually. None of these guys have infantry AT. So if I hadn't bought that P4PC, I could have got rifles and bring the lore 80. Infantry 80, of course, has lost 100 meters on its max range. Gained 5% accuracy to compensate. But it deals 200% more suppression than it used to. So here we go, we're smoking, so he knows now what's happening. Ready to fire. Can he redirect units in time to do anything about it? So this is the thing, when you're playing against somebody like Lathans, he will manually load all of his units back up into transports and move them to the to where my attack's going to be, um, which is the right thing to do, right? But most people just can't really hack it. <laughs> so, right, so we'll get a couple of rifles now, and just use a Milan 2 and put it in here. Well, hmm, that's probably not very smart. Probably better to get a couple of Wombats, and then just to get them up to here. Remember to hotkey your... Uh... So after the second volley, we're actually just going to start shooting it here because his reinforcements will then get spooked. I don't see anybody, but obviously the smoke's there, so that really wasn't very intelligent of me, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> there you go, so there are people in there. This thing's still 70 points for exceptional optics. I think it's too expensive, really. Right, so we're in. we are not met him yet, but obviously with the smoke we wouldn't see him until we're right on top of him. Uh, I don't know if the attack move bug is still in the game, so that's why I'm doing that. And yeah, we're set up here. This is just a defensive zombie force. This is an aggressive zombie force. And we're now going to buy our first tank, so we can get it around to here to cut reinforcements. And two of these can help as well. So here we go, we've met people. Oh no, I see, it's the smoke rounds. Right, there you go, he's got RPOs. But they, he's, he's wasting all his RPOs on the... on the. Well, he's supposed to waste all his RPOs on the Politsai Reserve, but they're at the back, so I've, I've messed that up, really. Um, so obviously that wasn't very intelligent. <laughs> the whole point is that the zombies take the take the heat. So yeah, we're just going to get in here. Well, actually, is he shot? Yeah, he is. So we don't want to get too close. So he's clustered that, and that's dead. That, there's no way that gets out of there, because it's in the forest, yeah. And the minstrels were not in position to really do anything about that, so that's fair enough, really. So this is going to take some shift in. Uh, yeah, this is going to take some shift in, so we're just going to start walking past him. And in the meantime, we'll get the new park and get that, and that'll kill, like, one of them, maybe. So this three stack's doing pretty well, actually. Doing his job pretty well. And there you go, see, so we getting this guy in was smart. Doesn't kill it in the first volley anymore, so we might actually be able to cap it, but oh no, he doesn't. And these guys don't have AT, so I'm just gonna walk past. Not sure what all that is. Oh dear. <laughs> Where's my new park? Oh mate. No, 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 that's really not good. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna miss. It's really frustrating. Ah, shite. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna miss that. He's doing a great job holding me off here. Me losing vision of that guy really wasn't grand, if I'm being honest. Doing a great job of holding me off here. But I am in his zone, and the zombies are just gonna keep coming, so we're gonna get some flash of our own. And you see the second one hit, and it killed like one or something. Even though they're all clumped up, it's just something to do with the way buildings work. But... Is what it is. But yeah, this he's doing a pretty good job. The Spetsnaz grew as well, is really messing me up. Um, mad respect. He seems to have called my attack perfectly. Just get me out of here. Andrew, get there. And uh, yeah, you need to so get this guy back quickly. Uh, do an AA vibe check on him. I kind of want to buy another one of these, but I can't afford it. Oh, I haven't been using my howitzer, which I purchased, so that wasn't very smart. Was it? That wasn't very smart at all. Minstrel should deal with that. I'll get a couple more javelin lamaus. And we need some more sponge. Oh, we can finally afford this. But, well, buying that probably wasn't very intelligent, I'm being honest. So yeah, he's doing a great job holding me off, but keep in mind that his CV had died, right? So we are plus two for now, and we're about to be plus four. 
uh, these RPOs probably... Oh, never mind. We're about to be plus two again. <laughs> but that cluster thing might get me, so I'm actually going to stay on the road. Right, so he's just moved. So I can't hit him with the new park anymore. So perhaps it was silly of me to shoot him with the tank. Some more... Oh, mate. So he's got tank around there. Oh, it's a BMP one G. Okay. So until he buys fighters, and his fighters are very expensive if he's got the MiG-31s, um, we're just going to keep doing this. But yeah, I sort of messed up a bit, and now this guy can't go first because the BMP-1 might kill him. Lost visual on him. Still see him moving though. Kind of dumb. <laughs> Might as well leave out this guy. This guy, probably gonna lose visual of him, depending on the... Uh... Okay, never mind. Oh. Okay, whatever. He misses anyway. <laughs> uh, we got a Javelin Lamo for here, and looks like he's trying something over here. So that's what this Harry is for. Right, so we're in. When you're in, you're in. And what happened to that uh, rover still here? Right. Put this over here, so I can sponge that shot that's going for the, uh... Well, I'm not sure what his AA... Well, okay, so I thought he'd, that he would be diving or something, but he's not, so we're just going to go and kill this, because he presumably won't have any AA there. I mean, why would he be a bit weird, wouldn't it? So the flash is still useful, so it was pretty silly of me to uh, ignore that, really. But he will run out of infantry before I do, that's for sure. Uh, that's like a 100% given. And we could try doing some up here, so we'll get some zombies for up there. Uh, actually, Engineer's Dragon. Better zombies. And rifles. Supply. Flashes deal less damage, as do the RPOs, but they still deal damage. Uh, oh, mate. It's messing me up. So at closer ranges, infantry does actually infantry small arms do actually do more at closer ranges now. Um, so whenever when he, whenever he blocks up like this, you just shoot the RPOs in, right? Uh, you shoot the Nighthawk in, and he's still got that sniper shooting me because you can see like random shots coming in. Then. Um, so we'll buy a couple mortars for the close range stuff. And... Whoa. That's obviously not grand. <laughs> so that's really not grand actually, because that means this thing's gonna hit, get hit by that. But it should be all right as long as we just evac it straight away. I don't think you'll get ten DPS off on me. And we'll buy the seed with the next tick. So yeah, we'll start shooting it. But oh, okay. I mean, whoa, whoa. Okay, so if that missile hit, we'd be in a rough spot, but it didn't. So we're good. And yeah, just keep uh, keep everybody supplied. Uh, I got lots of supplies, so don't worry about that. It always comes down to the and, and he's not really pushing me anywhere else on the map, even though I've got him locked down here, and this fight serves my interests really well. <laughs> so, well, you're too low, you need to get back. I'm trying to get these guys to get angles on that. And we'll buy some more spam. I mean, if he's going to keep playing me at this game, I can play this game all day. Look how much infantry I have. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I said that I would move up here, didn't I? So I'll buy a couple of javelin. Well, I'll buy a couple of javelin. The mouse and three of these. Whoa. <laughs> So I might as well just start putting this at fire at will now, because I'm just not microing it effectively. Same with these guys when they get here, because I'm just not microing them very effectively. Should we get the rifles in here so they can shoot the Resvedka thingy? And yeah, he's playing an infantry game against... Ah, oh, shite, I told you that'd happen. And I stayed in the forest, so now I'm going to die. That wasn't very smart. That wasn't very smart. So we need more AA. As you can see, our AA isn't really very good, um, but that's that's the division. Damn, we lost the supply on that as well. Let's go and watch out for the Russians. Looking for 
Uh, but yeah, we can still get up here, I guess. And um, yeah, let's get one of these to. Oh, still moving up. Yeah, if he wants to fight me at this infantry game, that works for me. As we've discussed. Some more flash. Right, I'm trying to select this building. Alright, yeah, we, I should have been more proactive in my supply, like there's been a big dip here. So he knows about this, so we're going to send the Harrier over. We try a zombie attack here, uh, but why bother? I mean, I've, so there's no reason for me to switch sectors, because I can win this fight, so why would I bother? Uh, is that, that's an attack helicopter you can tell from the silhouette. I should probably do a video on that, actually. You can... Oh, fuck. <laughs> So this is not going to get there in time to save him, and we're going to buy the seeds as we discussed. Rifles you want to try and keep alive, really. Is there my AT? Oh, and yeah, obviously the Harriers are really not very good. Um, <laughs> we get what I deserve, but he's going to fly over all the man pads now. And yeah, so as you saw, a javelin and a minstrel got hit and it didn't kill it. Ah, okay. So he's been switching them off, or it's something else, something that. So we're gonna bomb here and <laughs> hope it hits. Um, so this guy's getting through, it's great. And there we go, he screamed bullseye. Oh, hang on, but that's where I was trying to hit. I was trying to hit there, and it hit there, and it turns out the CV was there. Uh, epic gamer moment works for me, man. Unless I was trying to hit there anyway. I'm not really sure what happened there. I'm just honest. So, yeah, we need some pit lads for this thing up here. Uh, a bit more spammy infantry. Oh, whoops. Might as well use the good ones first. And yeah, now he switched to TO 55, so we need to get the rifles up in here. I need more rifles than I have, really. And. You really need to smoke this off. I just keep losing stuff that I don't have to lose. <laughs> As you command, sir. Okay, Raven four, waiting for action. So let's see if that can do a good hit. Platoon is formed and ready. Beware. Um, tends to be that if you do attack position, it just yeah. Look, it did, so it did it again. It just job, doesn't like attack position. It seems so. I don't know. Um, but yeah, when he screams bullseye, it means he hits someone. <laughs> and yeah, that spag must have died or something, because, or he's just, oh, I see, it's Tunguska and he's got the gun turned off. So he's a good player if he's doing that. Oh no, you're AA and now you're dying. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad and entirely my fault. Like, I've just been a bit more proactive with that, so I need some pit lads up here, really. And hopefully this will be able to kill these now. Go for the expensive one first. So you might have landed them. No, there they are. And yeah, I'm just going to keep pouring the waves of trash into him. Um, I mean, he's flipping neck, mate. What? What? <laughs> that was a very, very strange uh, eve. Oh, yeah, he's dead now, isn't he? He's been hit by Tunguska. Well, you get what you deserve, you're a monk. <laughs> and oh, bollocks, why have I put that there? That was not very smart. And we could use a tank for when these breakthroughs happen. And a recon for when these breakthroughs happen, so we can spawn. So. Our shenanigans trying to push up here has significantly weakened our position here, and now he's gone round here. Uh, just like not smoking that off, that wasn't really smart at all. Uh, lots of mistakes made, really. So we're gonna try and get these guys over here. Uh, you know, I've got all this AA, but can't really see. Seems it can't really see. Um, alright, whatever. So we need some more rifles, could use one here. Get a recoilless rifle squad for here. And there we go. AA's finally in the game now. Beware. Enemy nearby. 
This guy's manual guided, so when he gets stunned, the shot whips. So that's why this man has survived so thus far. What? Once you get stunned, you start still dead. I mean, it's a bit silly, but that's what it is. And we'll wait for the pivots this time. And yeah, we're in over here to stop him from getting around, but he might try a further flank, like a, a wider flank. And this guy will, yeah, so even if he misses, you like, look at the suppression damage done. So now that's all missing. And to be honest, this guy's really let me down. He missed all of them, man. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I think he did hit one. And yeah, we've got to move to the next brand of, well, we spam now, so that's the RF rifles. And as long as he, I mean, he, he needs to attack me somewhere else, like here. Well, he, here would be ideal, because, you know, he's just playing, in, he's playing my game. But he's just willingly playing, that's that cluster again. I should have told him to go forwards instead of backwards, because they take time to turn, they'll die. But this time, I have the AA. So we're going up there. We're going to a pizza back to the island. And might as well just start bombing all this. Well, actually, let's just put them on fire at will again. And we'll try a wide flank here to start shooting his reinforcements as they come in. He'd do the same to you. He'd do the same to you. And we'll get a... We still got people here. Right, so everybody out. And this time I got the pivads, which don't take time to unload and aim and stuff. So yeah, he's just going to run out of infantry, really, even though I'm taking really bad trades. He's just going to run out of infantry uh, way before I do. I apologize for my croaky voice. I stayed up late last night making a two and a half hour video. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That is the counter to me. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's, uh, that's really not great. So yeah, that was a very, very, very effective. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was pretty nice, man. <laughs> and yeah, we need to we need to try and kill that really. Oh no, 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 no! We're gonna lose the AA. Although we've got we got another one here, so be all right. Uh, so reinforce this, get some recoilless rifles can be really useful in these situations because of the, the close ranges and stuff. So yeah, we really need to find that thing. We can't let him do that again because I'm penned in this, what, what is really quite a small area. So it's really, really quite smart from him what he's doing here. Oh, this ruin, these ruins are really annoying. I wish you could enter ruins like you can enter building blocks like that. You just click anywhere on it and it goes in. And just give ruins less cover bonus. A lot of people say ruins give you more cover. Uh, they don't. I mean, if you have time to prepare, it can do. But if, if you don't have time to prepare, how can a ruin give you more cover than a house that you can walk between all the windows and stuff? I had a huge argument with Integer about this. And it was like, by the end, he thoroughly convinced me. I just didn't want to admit that I was wrong. Because I, I, I used to think, yeah, ruins give more cover. Um, where is that? Where is that? What is that? So, yeah, we didn't bring any AT. And now, you know, get what we deserve. So we're going to get a couple of uh, Gazelle Hell Arms here. Because that's the only thing that's going to run fast enough. That cluster's going for something. Uh, might be going for this, might be going for that. Yeah, Mon's quite fast. You can tell by its angle where it's going. Uh, it's been it's been routed anyway by the all the yeah. So I've just got too many man pads here now. He can't do that anymore. Can't get away with it. And we'll buy another mortar, and we just keep them all on auto fire. I'm shooting. I mean, look at this. I like, he's he's holding me off, but it doesn't matter because I'm plus two. Oh, bollocks. Oh, this this guy ain't getting in there, is he? So yeah, I can do this all day. So 
Might as well deploy the Nighthawks again. And um, we'll get the Seed behind. But the Seed's faster, so you got to wait a bit. And... Yeah, I could use a tank here now, because he, as we know, he's over there. Need to move this. It's a shame about this, I didn't bring any infantry AT in the first wave. That was that was just a total misplay from me. There's no getting around that. That was really stupid. Uh, that was really unintelligent of me. And I get what I deserve. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a perfect player. I hope you... Oh, yeah, and then that seeds that I said would arrive, in uh, would arrive faster. So, yeah, whatever. Fuck that up, didn't I? <laughs> but yeah, he's not got any cubs. He's relying on the Tunguskas, and they're not ideal. Oh dear. I don't know if I to do this. And yeah, I, I don't know if that Tunguska died or something. I don't really see it. So we're going to reinforce over here because that's really his only ticket back into this game, would be to. Try that could shoot, actually. Would be to do something here, so that we're gonna reinforce here, and then we're gonna prepare the waves of trash for this side because we, we might as well. I got a hit. Right, I mean we're just taking atrocious losses, but it doesn't really matter. I mean he's doing an excellent job of micron, but his so his micro is great, but his strategy is just really really poor because he's you know he's allowing me to play this fight. Like, this is not a good fight for him. He should try and push me in the open, but he's not. He's playing a, a reactive game. So, that's rough for him. You see this guy's coming over here, but I think this guy will get him. These guys I got to all unload, which, in hindsight, perhaps not very intelligent. And, yeah, you know, it's going pretty well, as you can see. He's got some conkers here now. They'll probably go in that building. Um, yeah, okay. I just want to send my recon over here. Is it just getting intercepted or something? Ah, okay. So here we go again. That's going to be an atrocious set of losses for me. I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> deal with it. You know. <laughs> so yeah, atrocious set of losses for me. He's playing a good game. He's playing a good game. Nice tight game. I hope I don't lose visual on that guy. He goes by Moray, but we're intercepting it. Oh dear, the two conkers both hit me, I think. And as you can see, we're in here now, but the AA thing came over, it would mess me up. That, yeah, there you go. That's an AA, but he, sw he had it switched off when I was over him. So the Tunguska, yeah, the Tunguska gun is radar. But, uh, the missiles aren't, sorry, I was paying attention, paying attention to this instead of to you, the viewer, and for that, I am your humble servant. Matt. So yeah, helicopters are more manoeuvrable now, which means they don't die to stupid things if you're paying attention. I'm not an attention payer, so, you know, like, <laughs> it doesn't work out for me. But, uh, yeah. Like, he's still not dealt with this. Um, which is not great for him. This howitzer has been trying to kill that for about 20 minutes. And it hasn't managed it, and that Milan 2 is going to do it for him now. So, this is the way. And get that going. We don't really have too much AA in here, or, or any, but I think most of his helicopters are dead. So, send the trash forwards. Uh, everybody that's not a transport is going forwards. Oh yeah, for, I keep using the wrong orders, so you, you just want them to move. <laughs> you don't even want them to attack. Oh dear. And we'll get... See if we can get the guy around there. He's still got some of these left, which is really quite impressive, if I'm being honest. Ow. But yeah, he, you can tell he's running out of infantry. Like, look at that. Whoa, there goes that CV. I guess not. So, yeah. Um, Mr. Bandito plays a lot better than, than somebody who's ranked 392. I mean, his micro is excellent.
but his uh, his game strategy just letting me rope him into that game wasn't wasn't great. So I don't know. I think it's a good showcase of the strat. I mean, the last one was also a good video, but I wasn't. I had my mic muted, and yeah, the burrito uh, did a lot more work than that. It was just it was like making them one HP as opposed to killing them all stuff like that. Uh, his cluster thing did really well. Uh, Bully was pretty good. So yeah, GG, well played. And uh, the zombie horde moveth.